and I kind of didn't even feel that. <laughs> Literally, she did not even feel that. You ready to self vaccinate the dogs, babe? Yeah, I was gonna make you do it though. Yeah. <laughs> you have to hold them down though. <laughs> Here, you do it, I'll hold them down. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> Okay, so we're gonna take the vaccines out of the refrigerator. I'm gonna let them warm up for the puppies just for like 10 minutes, just so it doesn't shock them so much. He's he's ready for his vaccine. Yeah. He's presenting his little booty. <laughs> Is that where it goes? No, it goes up here. Goes in his neck. In his scruff. Yep. We're Show our viewers. Up. We're gonna pull up on the skin and it's gonna make like this little dimple here and that's where you're supposed to place your injection. <laughs> oh. oh, you it's don't like that. Bunny. Oh, boy. Okay, so we have to reconstitute the vaccinations. Um, we're gonna stick Hannah first just because I think she'll be a good starter for me. I washed my hands. Always wash your hands. This is the K9 Spectra 10. So it protects them from a bunch of different stuff. And uh, what we're gonna do is reconstitute the um, liquid into the powdery. And then you shake it up until it's all reconstituted. And then you draw it up into the needle. And then we're gonna go over to Hannah. We're gonna squeeze her neck. I'm not gonna use the V technique on Hannah because she's a little chunkier, so we're just gonna go right in. Um, another thing that I read is that every, you're supposed to pull back to make sure you're not in a blood vessel, which as a nurse, I do know that for IM injections, but this is supposed to be a subcutaneous injection on a dog. I'm gonna do it just in case, but um, I think that'll be fine. So you put the needle into the vial. I did put a little room for air in there so you can then, otherwise it'll create a vacuum. So you push the air in, then you pull, oh, not in the fluid. So you have to make sure that your needle is in the fluid, you pull the fluid out. So you don't want the needle like all the way in there, it's going to be... Right, because like the fluid's the going down once you get to the bottom of the fluid. There should be no fluid left in the bottle. So I see it going through the neck right now. So this is about one mil, I think, of fluid. Okay. I'm just pushing the air out. Can have a little bit of air because now what we're gonna do is we're gonna put it into the next vial. Right into the middle. Oh yeah, and we're gonna push it in. Okay. Then you can take your needle out. Never recap the needle if you're a nurse, but we're doing this for the dog, so I'm gonna do it with the proper technique. And it's recapped. <clears throat> so we're mixing, reconstituting. Do you wanna do one, babe? You wanna reconstitute one? Yeah, I'll try one. Okay. So, um, can you see the little the fluid in there? Okay. So. Mix in, mix in. It looks pretty mixed. You'll see. You'll notice there's just not any powder anymore. All right, back to my one mil of air. Hannah's our first victim.
Guys, don't throw these glass vials in the trash when you're done. That's why we have them all kept out here. They're glass and uh, you gotta dispose of them properly. Don't be a jerk. Here's all of our refunds to vaccines. Let's do it. Come here, Tia. Bite some. I got you, Hannah. Watch out, Zoe. Zoe. Ah. Zoe, lay down. Hannah. Hannah didn't even feel that. <laughs> Literally, she did not even flush. Alright, put one down. Okay, so I'm gonna go at the back of the neck where their scrub is, not on the spine. You wanna avoid the spine. She's shaking, so I'm gonna pull up the skin, make a little indent with my finger. I wish I had my good finger. Okay, I'm gonna go because she's nervous. Pulling back to see if there's any blood. There's none. Pushing the vaccine in, and we're done. Good job, so. Oh my God. Her skin hurts a little bit. Seems like a big needle for a cat. Makes me a little nervous. <laughs> Feline rhinotracheitis calica panleukopenia vaccine. Reconstituted feline, feline rhino tracheitis calica panleukopenia vaccine. That's what it is. I'm gonna wrap the cat in a towel. Okay, the cat I'm a little bit worried about. He's we didn't declaw him because that's rude. Every boy needs his claws. <laughs> yeah, and causes like tendonitis. A lot of people don't realize that. It causes like cat tendonitis and issues with their paws. So. Eyeballing the f*** out of me right now. <laughs> Act casual, she says. <laughs> or, I don't know, do you think that's going to be enough? Or you can fold it however you want to fold it. I just grab it. We're going to have to kind of do his quick, I feel like. Because I'm scared. Zoe, back off. You gotta get him down to where I can reach him. Okay. He does have one claw out though, so. Okay. Watch that. Okay, I got you, buddy boy. Going behind the neck. Not on the spine. Pulling his skin up. Here we go. I got you, buddy boy. Shh, shh, shh. Good boy. Okay. Good boy. It was kind of okay. harder to find his skin than the dog's. Like, it was deeper than I expected. So, but it got in there. Uh, he's good. We've never done this before for the dogs. We've done it on humans. The nasal one is going to be interesting. Yeah, we're going to do that one. We're going to squirt we're gonna this right this. up your nose, Hannah. Okay, just like with the other vaccines, you reconstitute the powder with the fluid. Put the little cat back in and shake it up, shake it up, shake it up, shake it up. Okay, now we're gonna blast it in their nose. Yeah, we gotta reconstitute the other one. Alrighty. Ready? Should I do it all in one nostril? Yeah. Okay, Zoe. That's here. Zoe! I gotta hold her more. No, it's done. It's done. Good puppy. That was interesting. Got in her nose. She's sneezing the shit out of me. Oh, it hurts. It hurts. 
Come here, Jambi. You want something in your nose too? so we don't need to do anything with that. But this one is the actual vaccination, so you peel it off like that, and then you stick it on their papers. Now I know this is very official, but that's Claymore, so. That's our record of vaccinations. That in the video. <laughs> That's true, we have extra food. Doing what? You got it all in one bag? Yeah, I've got all the sharps in one bag because I figured that was easier than carrying all these two bags around. No, this is a very serious topic though. <laughs> so, where do our viewers bring their sharps? Um, bring your sharps to your local grocery store. They probably have sharps containers. Bring it to, they have sharps containers in the mall. Some parks even have sharps containers nowadays. Anyways, it's supposed to be burnt, so you cannot throw it in the trash. Um, this is not proper disposal of sharps. So bring it to somewhere that has a sharps container. Good call. Yeah. <laughs> So, <laughs> check your dogs for adverse reactions. Yes. <laughs> after, after. Your dogs and your cats. You Always them. make sure that you check for adverse reactions. If they're going to have them, um, it should, it will probably be within the first 24 hours after you give them their injections. What adverse reactions are there? Um, you can get facial swelling. You know, their tongue could swell. Um, they could get fever, like nausea, diarrhea, um, so yeah, you gotta monitor your pets, make sure that they aren't affected by them, and if they are, you need to go to the veterinarian. What does this thing weigh, like 20 pounds? No, like... No. 18 ounces or something. <laughs> I want to get a different camera. My own camera. 